phone book. Who the hell even uses phone books anymore? God, I do. Reading material for when I'm on the toilet. What's up, everybody? This is Country A with 2AM Country, and today I have got something special for you. A viewer sent me in this humongous chunk of steel. His name is Grandpa Jeep, and he is also responsible for these racks right here. Um, he makes them himself. You've seen a couple of his other racks in some of my other videos, the ones where I shoot the pistol at it, and then um, a couple of 22 videos with my brother in the video. But anyway, what he did is he put a whole bunch of weld over this chunk of steel. We're going to hang it and we're gonna shoot it with some different calibers just to see what would happen. We're gonna start off with a 22 and work our way up. Let's get started. All right, guys, so first up is the 22 long rifle. We're gonna sit behind the four-wheeler for safety's sake and shoot the steel. And then what we'll do is after every shot, we'll go up and we'll check and see exactly what it did. One shot from each one of these right here. And uh, we'll see what it does. First up, Marlin 22. My daddy got me this. I'm gonna edit that part out. Just make sure you know that. My daddy got me this. <laughs> so rough. All right, here we go. Can't fall, there it is. You ready? Shot number one. All right, so there's the 22. It did absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. That's some pretty strong steel. Nine millimeter. Let's see what this baby does. I may have to shoot this more than once because as you guys know, I'm horrible with a handgun. And right here is the nine millimeter and it just cleaned it up. There's really nothing there. 22, nine millimeter. Next up, SKS 762 by 39. It's the same round the AK-47 uses. That's the gun that the wife uses when she goes hunting. <laughs> yeah, she still doesn't have to get a deer though. <laughs> you keep laughing. All right, you ready? I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Knock down the target. <laughs> All right. Oh, crap. There's so much stone in the ground. I'll have to make sure the GoPro is back in the right spot. Wow. Check that out. Cratered. That cratered it. Yeah, I can fit my whole finger in there. That's an SKS round. That's cool. All right. Next up, Remington 700, 308. He cheats on me with her. Again. That is the 3 0. Look at that. Holy crap. A lot bigger than that one. Man. Look at what it's doing. That's cool. Next up and final 12 gauge Mossberg 590. This, this right here, this is my boomstick. See what she does. One shoddy. ounce slug from Federal. Is it your shoddy? It's my shoddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't even know if I can hit it. All right, this target would stand up, except for the fact that, well, there's so many rocks on the ground. Let's see, right there, really low. Holy cow. All my shots are pretty low, except for the 
That it's one. crazy, the shotgun did the less damage. Yeah, well, it's going to. The reason why it does the less damage is because it's a one ounce slug. So you've got a slug about this big and it's only traveling about eh, 1,500 feet per second coming out of that and it hits. So all of that energy gets dispersed into it okay. and it spreads out. The SKS and the 308, however, are pointed. They're moving 2,400 feet per second or something like that, comparable to each other. So when they hit, speed gets all the energy into that one spot and pushes the steel out of the way before it disperses its energy into it. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I want to thank Grandpa Jeep for making this amazing hanging rack for our targets. It's pretty dope. And if anybody wants any, definitely um, yeah, email me. Comment, email. Yeah, we'll get you guys one. It's pretty good. Extremely good quality. Really good steel. And um, the only re the only reason they're if they rust at all is because the paint chips. But everybody's used to that. These things are awesome. We've got them sitting out in the backyard. I got a couple for the 22. I got a, a dueling tree and everything he made. They're fantastic. Thank you for giving this to us, Grandpa Jeep. Really appreciate it. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed shooting that piece of steel. If you guys like videos like this, leave me a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see other content or anything, put it in the comments below, and I will do what I can to try to get those kind of videos out to you. All right? Remember the Second Amendment, because this is your 2AM country.